Good morning, Wind Chasers. Welcome to another episode of Chasing the Wind. Let's see what uh, Holy Spirit has been up to lately uh, in my life, and then uh, hopefully you'll cause you to think about what maybe Holy Spirit has been doing in your life. I was uh, recently, it's been interesting to me watching people who comment on Facebook about this uh, this uh, podcast, this vlog, whatever you call the thing. I don't know. I'm just up here and my producer does all the rest. So anyway, um, it's been interesting to me as some cousins that I have not seen in a while. Hello, cousins who I have not seen in many years. Uh, probably good night, maybe 40 years by now. I don't know. We haven't seen each other in a long time. Who are commenting? And I appreciate very much as I kind of get to reconnect a little bit with my cousins who I have not seen but uh, are or watching these uh, these uh, podcasts, I was thinking as um, our connection that we have is uh, through my mother. Uh, they are they are the children of my mom's uh, siblings, and it reminded me of um, our our heritage a little bit. We have especially in this month of. March, probably, this will be um, going, I think, uh, next, uh, yeah. So anyway, um, St. Patrick's Day, and uh, I got a special St. Patrick's Week um, post coming on pretty soon here, recording coming on pretty soon, but I was thinking about our heritage, my heritage, and you, my cousins, our heritage, so the rest of you just kind of listen in here as I have this little <laughs> stroll down history and memory lane. Um, our my, our mom's name, my mom's last, her maiden name is Grant, which is Scottish, actually. And um, her mother's maiden name was Clark, which is Irish. And so we got this little this little Irish-Scottish thing going on in our family. And uh, several years ago, I was at, the, uh, at a Celtic festival and um, went over to one of the tents that had the clans. And I found there was a clan there for Grant. And so I went over and was talking to him, and I discovered something really, really amazing to me, astonishing to me um, in some ways, because I did not know this. The F Grant family motto is stand fast. And so uh, I decided I'd do a little research on that and whatnot. And, and to stand fast means to hold your ground, to, to not give up, to, to keep in the fight, so to speak. And so I was talking to my mom about this one day, and she said, oh, yeah, she says, Daddy always used to say, kids, stand fast. And uh, so I've kind of adopted this Grant family motto in my own life, even though my name, last name is Hansen now, uh, uh, coming in from uh, my dad's side, who was Norwegian. And, of course, we all know the Norwegians stood fast because they, like, went in and plundered everybody, so it didn't matter, but... Uh, Anyway, that, that, just that simple phrase, stand fast, has helped me many, many times. I n didn't really know my mom's dad. I was two when he died. But uh, my mom uh, told me that um, that was what, what my grandfather would always tell his kids, stand fast. Doing, doing a little research, Ulysses S. Grant, who was in charge of the... Uh, the Union forces, the Union Army during uh, um, the Civil War would often tell his troops, stand fast. Now, it makes me think of what we're told in Scripture. In Ephesians, Paul tells us that, to put on the full armor of God so that we will stand, that we may stand. And we are told in other places, not so much to stand fast, um, but to... to stand uh, our ground, to, to stand firm in our faith. And, and in these days we're in, and you say, well, yeah, but we're not having a civil war right now. Well, that depends on who you talk to, okay? We are in a war, though, for our souls. And the one thing that the enemy wants more than anything is to defeat us. And so I would adv just admonish you, encourage you today uh, to maybe take on, not necessarily the Grant family motto, but to take on a scriptural motto, a scriptural idea that simply tells us to stand firm in our faith, 
to not let go of it, to not to not waver in it, but to hold tightly to our faith in God and, and that the fact that he will help us and that he is there with us, that we don't have to fear, we don't have to entertain fear, but that we can stand fast, we can stand firm, and that, Laura, when we are at this point, point when anything else we feel like we're going we're gonna to fall, that we're encouraged to stand and to stand firm and to stand fast. So, wind chasers, I want to encourage you to stand fast today. I think that's the message the Holy Spirit wants to, to give you today. Maybe it's for one person. Maybe it's for a bunch of you people. Maybe it's for the grants who are, who are watching this today. Stand fast, knowing that God is with us, that we are, he is on our side, and hopefully we are on his side. So, wind chasers, keep chasing the wind because the wind is chasing you.